Hello everyone, my name is Wendy. Today we're going to create a glitch effect with GIMP. This effect can be used on black and white images, color images and text. In this video we'll assimilate a few digital errors by splitting the RGB channels, moving some parts of the image and we'll add a couple of filters to finish off this glitch effect. Before you move on, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, then make sure you subscribe, like and hit the bell button so you don't miss any upcoming videos from this channel. Now let's get started. If you'd like to follow along, I downloaded this image from unsplash.com and I'll leave a link in the description below. Let's start by opening the image. Then I'll come over to the layers panel and I'll change the name. To do this, double click on the title. Then change the name. I'll just type in original. Now we can make a duplicate of this image. Come down to the menu below and press the button to create a duplicate of the layer. Come up to the tab menu. At the moment we're in the layers tab. Let's switch over to the channels tab. Here you will find the RGB colors. Click on the small eye-shaped icon for the green and blue to disactivate these two channels. To create the glitch effect, we'll use two colors, red and a cyan color, which we'll make by mixing the blue and green. But first, let's make a copy of this red channel. Go up to the Edit menu and select Copy Visible. Next, we're going to select Paste As and we'll paste this as a new layer. Switch back to the Layers tab you'll find the newly copied image in the layer stack. Let's carry on and create the cyan color. Switch back to the channels tab and this time check the blue and green channels to activate them and uncheck the red channel. You won't be able to see the cyan color yet so let's go back into the layers panel and uncheck the red layer. Now we can create a copy of the cyan image. So let's repeat the previous steps. Come up to the edit menu Copy Visible and we'll paste this as a new layer. The cyan layer is placed on the top of the layer stack. Press the small eye icon on the red layer to turn on the visibility again and switch back to the Channels tab and turn on the red channel also. Come back into our Layers panel. I'm going to double click on each title and I'll change the name. I'll type in here Cyan and in the red layer I'll just type in Red. Now we're going to adjust the blending mode on the cyan image. Activate the cyan layer, then come up to mode and from the menu select screen. You won't see any difference yet, we have to do one more thing first. We have to slide this layer to the side. I'll use the offset tool to do this. So come up to the layers menu, in transform, select offset. This is a handy little tool, we can easily move the layer. In the X axis, tap on the upward arrow and the layer will slide to the right. I'll leave it at a value of about 30. I'm happy with that. Then press OK. We need to make a copy of this. So let's go back into our Edit menu and select Copy Visible, then Paste As and we'll paste as a new layer. Let's go back over to the Layers panel. Make sure that this layer is the top layer in the stack. Double click on the title and change the name. I'll just type in something like Glitch. I'll create another copy of the Glitch layer. This time I'll click on the Duplicate Layer button in the menu below. Next we'll drag out some rectangular shapes around the model. So come up to the toolbox and grab the Rectangle tool. Let's look in the Tools options first. In the Mode options, press the second button. This will allow you to add more selections to the current selection. You can add various sizes and the amount is just personal preferences. I'm just going to add a few here on the left and then I'll move them and create another layer for the right side. I think that's about enough. I'm happy with that. Now we need to make a copy of these selections. So come up to the Edit menu and select Copy. Come back into the Edit menu and this time just select Paste. Come over to the Layers panel and you'll see you have a floating selection. All we need to do now is add this to a new layer. 
If you look at the menu below, you'll see that there is a green icon. Click on this and this will add the floating selection to the new layer. This yellow dotted line is the boundary of the new layer. As you can see, it is smaller. So before moving on, come over to the Layers panel and right click on the layer. And from the Fly Out menu, select Layer to Image Size. And this will resize the boundaries. We can use the Offset tool again to move this layer. So come up to the Layers menu, Transform and select Offset. This time we'll come into the X axis. And as we want to slide it to the left, we're going to hit the downward arrow. Okay, now let's see. This is just personal preferences. Depending on the size and the shape of the rectangle you created, you might want a different value than what I've put in. I'm happy with a negative 20. Then I'll hit OK. Starting to look good. Let's create some more for the right side. Come back over to the Layers panel and select the Glitch Copy Layer again. Let's repeat the last steps. So come back up and select the Rectangle tool and we'll draw out some rectangles on the right side of the image. I think that's enough for me. When you're happy with the amount that you have created, we'll do the same as before. Come up to the Edit menu, select Copy. Come back into the Edit menu and select Paste. Let's come over to the Layers panel. And as you can see, you have the floating selection. Let's create the new layer. And we'll change the boundaries. So right click on the layer and select Layer to Image Size. OK, now let's move the layer. Come up to the Layers panel. In Transform, we'll select Offset. Let's have a look in the dialog. The same as before, we'll be using the X axis. And this time, we'll use the upward arrow. I think I'll leave it as a 20. Yes, a value of 20 and then hit OK. If you're happy with the result now, you can finish here. However, I'm going to add another few tweaks. We can add a filter to create some thin lines to simulate the degradation of an old RGB monitor. But before we do that, we'll need to merge a few layers together. Select the top layer to make it active. Come down to the bottom menu and click on the Merge button. Press Merge once more to merge this layer with the Glitch Copy layer. We're going to duplicate this image now. So come down to the bottom menu and select Duplicate this layer. I'll right click on the title now and change the name. I'll just type in Glitch Final. Now let's add a filter or two. Come up to Filters and in Distort, choose Video Degradation. Let's have a look in the panel a minute. You can run through the patterns and choose one. Each pattern gives off a different result. You've got staggered, large staggered, stripes, dots, etc. I like the striped effect. In fact, I think I like best the wide stripe. Let's click on the split view to see the before and after effect. If you're happy with the result, press OK. Now we can change the blending mode on this layer. Come over to the Layers panel and in Mode, scroll through the list. Here you can experiment. I'm going to select Soft Light. Depending on the blending mode you've chosen, you might also want to lower the opacity. I'll leave it about 50. Before we add the final Vignetta filter, we need to crop the image because we moved the layers earlier and this has created a red stripe down the side. So come over to the Toolbox and grab the Crop tool. I'll leave everything unchecked in the Tools options and drag out a rectangle shape. You can move the edges by dragging the sides. Then press Enter on the keyboard. Next, we can resize the boundaries by right-clicking on the layer and from the Fly Out menu, select Layer to Image Size. I'm going to add one more filter, this time a Vignetta. I'll create the Vignetta on a new layer. So come down to the bottom menu and select Create a New Layer. You can change the name of the layer and in Filled With, set it to Transparency, then press OK. Come up to the Filters menu, go to Light and Shadow, and scroll down and select Vignetta. The first thing I'll do is find the correct position. I'll lower the value on the center X. This will move the Vignetta to the left. 
then I'll adjust the softness, I'll bring it up to 1. I'll also adjust the radius. I'll turn on the split view to see the before and after effect. OK, when you're happy with it, press the OK button. You can also modify the opacity mode if you want to. I'm happy with mine and I'll just leave it as it is. If you want, you can save your work or export as a PNG or a JPEG file format. We'll wrap up here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy!